Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. How is everyone going? Uh, how is everyone doing today? I hope good. So, today I'm wearing my true red. There's just something cool about red lipstick. By the way, red hair is awesome. I should have done this years ago, you know, but no, but the gray hair, as you all know, gave me some trouble. So, Anyways, today's going to be an interesting day because I am, you know, still working on my voice. Cleaning is done. Yay! Um, my schedule is set up. It looks like I'm going to have to reschedule first a few things tomorrow. Library, I'll get in there because I have to, but it'll be library post office. I'm not going any further. Um, the reason is we have a winter advisory and it's just been blowing snow all day. So we have a lot of snow. As some of you out there understand, the snow is not good. <laughs> of course, I find it to be very, very cool. So, um, anyways, True Red is today's lipstick choice. When I get to the store next, I will be picking up some more. I'll probably have the entire lipstick collection before you know it. Then I'll have to go and see what Walmart has. Uh-oh, I'm into lipstick. Woo! <laughs> so, anyways, I've been practicing my voice. I've been singing a lot today. I've done a little, I've strained my voice a bit. So, tonight's project is dinner will be starting between 5 and 5.30. Aaron will be over here soon. I'm waiting for his reply. 7 o'clock, we will be seeing a uh, friend of ours for about an hour. Then me and Aaron's got some stuff to do. So, um, I just wanted to say that. I also wanted to say, uh, let me get this correct once more. Bracy, thanks Bracy, because Bracy basically uh, said I looked like a genetic female. Makes me feel good, you know. So, um, what else can I say is I'm really loving this red hair, uh, even though there's a few patches that need to be fixed. We will get this fixed on Wednesday, unless the bus service isn't working then. Then we have to look at something else. So, anyways, um, I got an hour tonight with a friend of mine. Um, everything is cleaned. Um, I'm working on my game so, still. I updated Blizzard finally. I was going to go into Battle.net, check out my Diablo games. Um, what else can I say? Oh, um, about the, um, the Etrian game I'm working on. I finally got through the Floor 7, but I haven't explored Floor 7, floor seven because... They're making it very difficult. When you get hit by an enemy, you got to have a healer on hand. So, I mean, I got all my characters up to level 10. But I've also learned that if you uh, wait a while and you level crunch, eventually floors, uh, floors 2, 3, and 4 will just have completely massive uh, bosses there. The boss battles come back. So... You go down there, you can just load up on money, whereas otherwise you're level crunching your own characters. You ain't getting jack, and you're paying 200 every time you go to the end, which means your money goes down faster than you can make it. So, because what you do is you buy, you, every enemy drops something. Like, if you kill a woman, for example, it might say, um, uh, item dropped, uh, silicone breast implants. So you're like, oh, well, you're going to take it to the smithy. Smithy might take and hammer out something with it if it's accumulated enough of them. For example, you can get like whatever, you know, etc., etc. So, um, so, um, anyways, I just wanted to say, hold on a sec, I gotta put my glasses on. Uh, Bracey did ask a question. I don't want to sound rude, so I should just pull it up here. Since I'm doing this right now, I will look into what Bracey said, and I will answer it in this video. Let's see. Uh, oh, wow. But his name will already be exposed with your insurance, right? Um, the doctor that's doing the breast augmentation has requested me, Bracey, not to give his name out until... Um, 
Medicare pays. So if Medicare doesn't pay, he doesn't get the exposure. But if Medicare pays, I've been asked to give his name out. But I can't do it beforehand because I'm the experiment for billing uh, Medicare for the uh, breast augmentation. Facial feminization, he doesn't know many doctors that could do it. But the ones that do do the facial feminization does not take Medicare or Medicaid. And they want full price. So it's like facial feminization was, uh, I believe, mastered and pioneered by Dr. Osterhout. Followed by Dr. Zakowski, and I believe both of them have retired, but don't quote me. So, anyways, let me see what else is there. Um, so, uh, yes. So, sorry about that. Anyways, my uncle messaged as well, so let's get down to brass tacks. So today I got the cleaning done. I want to say, first of all, way to go to the Seahawks. My nickname to them is the Sea Chickens, but they pounded Arizona 36-6. to They could not come back, you know what I mean? They had no reason of coming back. So, um, anyways, so tonight... Like I said, I got things to do. I got to sit down, write out a business letter. I got two business emails to email. I'm hoping the surgeon that's doing lower genital surgery, uh, his medical assistant, gets back to me with the answers because, well, I answered them uh, New Year's Eve, and I wish them a happy New Year's Eve, and I asked them what they can do. See, what I asked in the question, as all you know, is, was five questions most of them are good questions one is if I have to reschedule how long in between surgery because the last time they scheduled me eight days after consultation for surgery how long after consultation will be surgery so that was one of the, my main concerns because I already have my plane ticket paid for for going to consultation for genital construct uh, reconstruct genital you know, confirming surgery, you know, GRS, gender reassignment surgery, or sex reassignment, so, um, so gender confirming surgery is what they're calling it now, but you get the idea, so, um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now, um, so, uh, tomorrow, like I said, the schedule looks like I'm going to be canceling a few things, one being the pound, like I said, the weather here has just been atrocious. Well, I enjoy the snow, but we got like a blizzard coming down. So, anyways, that's probably my uncle. But anyways, tomorrow was uh, make a phone call and uh, do business e business emails tonight. Phone calls tomorrow, and um, you know, go to the library and go to the dog pound. Looks like we're going to have to go to the dog pound as soon as the weather clears up because we can't do it beforehand. So, uh, that's what I was going to say about that. So, um, so yes. And the other thing is I'm hoping tonight me and Aaron gets to sit down watch some reviews on YouTube and choose some new video games to have. Uh, for uh, entertainment purposes while we're waiting for this big time frame to come for the uh, uh, breast augmentation and the consultation for the gender confirming surgery which means I'm going to have to do something while I'm waiting so the calendar is already marked with how many days left like let's see today is days left is because I went backwards with it um, 69 days to breast augmentation. Wow. So, so I'm working on it. Two months, nine days. So, um, so yes, as I was trying to explain to Bracey, the female and the males are getting everything because as Aaron and I said in a previous video, most um, men don't have vaginas, uterus, ovaries, breasts, etc. But, for a male to female, 
uh, Medicare thinks just a vagina is the only thing you need. But as I said in the notes that I read in yesterday's video, it says all transgender related uh, surgeries, but to do it you must advocate to your primary care physician, your doctors you're working with to get you to the gender confirming surgeries, as well as you got to advocate with them to sell them the bill of sales to make it work on, um, what do you call it, on um, having other surgeries like breasts or face. Now, if you get lucky with breasts, take it. If you um, get lucky with, F uh, you know, face, get take it. If you only get lucky with lower and breasts, take it. I mean, eventually it'll get better and better, as Aaron said. It, it will be ironed out. So, um, anyways, um, so yes, I got YouTube vids to watch. Um, tonight with Aaron, we're going to have a little wine. I don't know if I want to have wine tonight or just relax. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I still got to do dishes still. That's the only thing left today on the cleaning list. I did all the dishes, uh, all the laundry, all the dusting, everything else. I'm just waiting patiently, you know. So, um, so it seems my PS3 will be having a rest for a few days because Aaron's game supposedly coming in tomorrow by the United States Postal Service. Um, Angela's game, uh, not games. <laughs> Angela's gift that she got me and Aaron apparently is in Des Moines, Iowa. She was generous to give me a tracking number. Thanks, Ange. Um, however, just so if Angela's watching this, um, me and Aaron came up with the nickname. You like pandas, so we call you Panji at time. We're like, how's Panji? Sometimes I call you Panjo, like Panjo and Kazooie. Do -do 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 -do. You know, but, you know, it's, you know, ba ba uh, Banjo Panjo, you know. Angela play a a Angela Angela playing a banjo, you know, banjo banjo. So, you know, but we love you no matter what, Angela, as a sister. So we hope you have had a great Christmas. So, um, anyway, so me and Aaron's gonna discuss uh, video games, watch game reviews, do a cigar review, uh, cigar wine review, and we're just gonna hang out and um. You know, we'll see what's going to happen. So, um, I'm excited. I got to sit down and write a letter out. Um, I got to get my email cleaned up tonight so I can actually um, have everything programmed properly. So, when I go to the library, I go into my email and I just hit, you know, print. And then I print out what is needed. I got two release of information I got to print out. And then I got to fill out uh, two release of infos and deliver it to on. Tuesday, Aaron's going to be the delivery boy, as you all know, because I am in my therapist appointment, so while my therapist appointment's going, he's going to be going over to play uh, Mr. Um, Courier Man and be the delivery person for these. Then I'm going to meet Mr. Aaron over at Dairy Queen to get a couple hungry, hungry burgers, which... Once I'm overloaded in burgers, I don't eat anything till the next day, which is Wednesday. Yay! Wednesday is an early morning yet again. That's why I told my uh, friend who's coming tonight, uh, Monday night, I eight, I'm in bed. Because I got to be up at 5 to catch the, uh, yeah, Monday, Monday night, I got to be in bed by 9 to catch the bus the next morning by 9, but I have to be up at 5 to get moving. Once I get moving at that time, I get to my therapist appointment on Tuesday, then I go there. Wednesday, as I told her, I'm not going to be getting anything done uh, Tuesday. I will be going into town on Wednesday, which means my cleaning day is going to be Monday and Thursday and Friday now, because Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going into town. Tuesday to one town, Wednesday to the other town, opposite directions. And while I'm there on Wednesday, I'm going to be eating one meal, which is an unlimited supply of fried chicken at KFC at their buffet. Yay! 
And then I go home and then I relax um, the night away. So uh, then Thursday and Friday is cleaning. Then the weekend starts again. So um, that's the plan. Um, Wednesday I go in to Safeway and I get me the hair box again so we can finish this. I will talk to my therapist about some medication, or not therapist, uh, primary doctor about medications, and I will, um, I will go from there. So, um, so I will keep you all informed. Oh, and tomorrow is pay three bills, and then my bills are done until the credit card bill comes in. Yay! I'm good for the month. Then next month it goes again, more money out because I haven't taken care of the hotel yet, but the airfare was covered. So the hotel is going to be about $451. I paid uh, $500 total for the plane tickets with taxes. So, um, so yeah. Oh, and by the way, this Google program, the Google Calendar, is quite funny because Google Calendar basically... Um, so, um, the Google Calendar, um, basically saves your incoming, uh, in uh, outgoing and uh, incoming flights and stuff, so it's pretty cool, but I thought it was really interesting, you know, so it integrates it with my calendar programs to let me know when I have to be at the airport, and if you buy, um, train tickets, it does the same thing, so it just, like, integrates it. Google Flights have been very, very well worth using for uh, plane plane tickets and stuff. So, anyways, everyone, I will keep you informed of the video game decisions once I talk to Aaron. Your next video will be tomorrow. Um, I will take some time, like I said, to clear up the email. Aaron's supposed to be around here soon because it will be dinner time. We're having sausages and jalapeno potatoes and um so with that said everyone please leave comments feedback suggestion please add me post comments and suggestions please add me as a friend and subscribe thank you and may god bless you all